In the search for the best personalized nootropics on the market, I came across Thesis. Now this New York based supplement brand provides personalized nootropics that will help you boost your brain performance. But are these nootropics really personalized? And are they effective? Well, I've decided to test Thesis for 30 days to find out. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and I'm the founder of Your Inception. If biohacking, nootropics and optimizing brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. So what's the real deal with Thesis? Well, this cool startup is one of the first brands on the market that started offering personalized nootropics. Now, if you check their website and you find it somewhat familiar, well, I have to tell you that Thesis is the rebranded version of Find My Formula, the first personalized nootropic brand that I have ever reviewed. Why they rebranded Find My Formula, I don't know, but let's rather focus on the supplements that they offer under the new brand. By the way, guys, do you prefer personalized nootropics like Thesis or Nootopia or pre-made nootropics like Qualia Mind, Alpha Brain or MindLab Pro? Let me know in the comment section below. So Thesis has developed multiple nootropic stacks, creativity, clarity, motivation, energy, confidence, and logic. So how does the personalization happen? Well, first you go through a basic quiz where they ask you questions about your performance and your struggles. After that, you're redirected to a landing page where personalized solutions pop up. But there is one big problem with the personalization and we'll talk about it soon. First, let's talk about my experience with Thesis. Now I actually got four stacks, energy, motivation, clarity, and logic. But my coworker got creativity and confidence as well, so I was actually able to test all six stacks. Now first thing that I have to point out is that the whole user experience is amazing. You get those nootropics packed in those small packets, so you just have to open it up and you just swallow all the capsules that are inside. And that's it. Now, in terms of specific formulations, I was partly satisfied with the effects. First of all, I really like the effects of Thesis Energy. I think this is a very potent formula that will boost your energy for at least three to four hours, if not longer. Now, this stack contains a few awesome compounds like Zynamide, like Theacrine and Sabroxy, which are all responsible for the effects. Of course, I got the small capsule with caffeine and L-theanine as well, which is quite important for the actual effects. Now, without taking the small capsule, the effects are honestly much weaker. The next stack that I tried is Clarity. Now, I honestly expected a lot from it, but when I looked at the ingredients, I wasn't really sure anything is going to happen. And it really didn't, at least not during the first few days of testing the stack. Now, the nootropics in the supplement are quite potent and generally effective, but I think this formula lacks a few compounds that would provide this additional brain boost. Overall, I think this is a decent formula and I think you should definitely give it a try. The next one is creativity. Now, the best way for me to boost my creativity is by microdosing special mushrooms. And those mushrooms magically boost my creativity every single time I take them. So when I heard there is a supplement for creativity, I was like, all right guys, bring it on. Now I've made this major error by analyzing this formula before I tried it, so I knew it right away that this formula probably won't really boost my creativity. So what actually happened? Well, honestly, not much. It made me calmer and it improved my mood, but did it boost my creativity? Uh, that's really hard to say. Compared to the mushrooms I mentioned before, this supplement is more or less useless, at least for improving creativity. How about logic? So this stack was designed to help you achieve deep and focused work, but according to Thesis, also to help you with complex problem solving and completing tedious tasks. Now, the last time I was reading studies of nootropics, I hadn't heard there are nootropics that help with completing tedious tasks, but I guess I missed a few studies. Okay, in all seriousness, while the naming for the supplement is misleading, the formula is actually quite good. It contains some of the most potent compounds for focus, such as phosphatidyl, dilserine, theobromine, and vegan omega-3. So I actually quite like Logic a lot. Now, to be completely honest with you, the effects of Logic were quite weak, even when I took the supplement with caffeine and L-theanine, but they were noticeable. Also, the dosage of omega-3 is way too low, so you need to supplement it separately. By the way, check out this video up here if you wanna learn why omega-3 is so important and what's the optimal dosage for you. Then we have motivation. Now, in terms of the formulation, this stack is nothing special. I've seen a similar formula many times before, so there's that. But in terms of the effect, well, this formula actually improved my mood and hence I felt more motivated. 
Sure, the placebo effect played an important role here, but still, this stack made me feel better, and I won't deny it. I actually believe the formula could be even better, but as long as you feel the effect, that's great. Last but not least, I've tried boosting my confidence with confidence. Now, to say that a supplement can boost your confidence sounds quite promising, but can it really do it? Well, I've tried it, and it's hard to say that anything actually happened. Yes, maybe I felt slightly more calm due to the high dosage of magnesium, ashwagandha, uh, sage, and other compounds, but that's about it. And honestly, that's definitely not my favorite stack here. By the way, guys, are you searching for the best nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go for our free brain assessment, link below, and get a personalized recommendation for the best nootropics. Now, before we talk about the pros and cons of thesis, let's quickly talk about synergies and the side effects. Now, I do think that stacks are quite smartly designed, so they're safe for supplementation. I couldn't find many risky compounds in the stacks, and the dosages are within the recommendations for most compounds, so that's a positive thing. Compared to Nootopia, you can see all the ingredients and exact dosages of all those compounds, so you actually know what compounds and dosages are you taking. And honestly, I haven't had any bad experience with any of the formulas so far. However, what I have noticed is that the individual formulas are relatively weak in terms of the effects. So it makes sense to combine these formulas. But how to do it properly? Well, that's where it gets quite confusing because of so many different options available. Now, Thesis offers you a coach that will help you choose the right stacks and combos, but this is quite time consuming. I've tried a few different combos like energy and motivation or energy and creativity, and I definitely noticed stronger effects. However, it's hard to say whether those combos are actually the best for you, because all of a sudden you start taking 10 to 15 different nootropics that may or may not work well together. So that's something I'm not really sure about. Personally, I would just make two to three different formulations instead of six, which would make the whole experience even better, but then they couldn't say that they offer personalized nootropics. So it's hard to say what to do. Now, before I share my verdict with you, Let's check out the pros and cons of thesis. Oh, by the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Now, the biggest pros of thesis are, you get partly personalized nootropics, which is also a con at the same time, which I will explain in a minute. You get moderate effects. The user experience in terms of taking the capsules is fantastic. The price is somewhat reasonable and you get an access to a coach. Now, how about the cons? Well, the first one is that nootropics are not really personalized. Yes, you do go through the brain assessment, and yes, you get an additional caffeine capsule if you answer that caffeine doesn't cause you any issues, but that's about it when it comes to personalization. Secondly, not all stacks are effective. The effects are not that strong, at least when compared to some other products. And stacking all those formulas can get really confusing. Now, before I share my verdict, the price of thesis is $119 if you just make a one-time purchase. But if you subscribe, you can get it for $79. I think that $119 is quite expensive, but $79 is quite a fair price for, for what you get. And there's a link below if you wanna try thesis. So to my verdict, do I recommend thesis or not? Well, to be honest, I really like the idea behind personalized nootropics. I like the brain assessment, I like different formulas, and I like that you have an access to a coach. However, I think that those nootropics are not really personalized, at least not to an extent that people expect. Honestly, I don't think any further personalization is needed, but still, they're promoting themselves as personalized nootropics for your brain, and what you get is not completely personalized. Secondly, the thing that bothers me the most is that overcomplication with multiple formulas, which in turn makes the whole experience more confused. If this will be optimized in the future, I think they have a nice opportunity to make a massively successful supplement business. So overall, yes, I think you should give Thesis a try and see how their nootropics work on your brain. Now, don't expect miracles, but I think many of you will like Thesis. However, if you're searching for the strongest personalized nootropics that I only recommend for short-term use, watch my video up here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.